right, hello folks. You can't see me, but I know that I'm here, I think. Here in front of the old easel again. And I have, I got a gnat on my canvas. I've got a big canvas up here, 16 by 20 inch. I guess it depends on who's talking, if this is a big one or not. But, it's big enough for this, right? And I've been on a kick of just doing simple paintings, simple mountain scenes. I've got some more uh, difficult paintings, well, not difficult, but more detailed paintings uh, scheduled. But for now, I think I'm just going to kind of have fun and, and stick with this one. So we're going to do something here I did once before, but not on a video. Just some weird colors. I like, I've like. i been liking weird colors, so let's see what we can come up with and do tonight here. I want to start with a little bit of Indian Yellow. And again, I've got Liquid Clear on there, thin coat of Liquid Clear. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look at that. Now remember, one of the, the big advantages of using a clear medium is that it's not going to, the color will not dilute, or the, the white won't diffuse the color, I should say. This, this is going to be a noisy one because the way I have this on here tonight, we'll try to remember to hold it. If not, just yell at me. Somebody tell me off camera. And it's going to throw some color in there. It's a bright, bright color, right? Indian yellow. You could use cad yellow here too, it wouldn't matter. There's not much that we do that would matter if we did something different. Really, truly. We don't let it worry us. Hope everybody's well. Well, we're in the fall here. It's a little crisp here tonight. The air is feeling nice, much nicer than the humidity. I like fall and I like spring. And I like winter if we get enough snow. So I don't like, typically what we get here for seasons is, is a short fall and sometimes a short um, spring. We go right into summer, and for fall we go right into winter. And with winter we don't get snow, we get cold rain. And <laughs> that's just not very pleasant. So we got some Indian yellow there. Let's go to another color here. And kind of blank it. Let's cover up a little bit of Indian yellow with a little bit of yellow ochre. Just here and there. Let's just get crazy with it and just kind of swirl it in here a little bit. You don't always have to use little X strokes, right? You can throw color on here. We can blend it if we don't like it. We can always change it. There's plenty of, plenty of opportunity to do things here. Remember, you could take your finger and paint this if you wanted to. Um, you know, we talk about doing it the way that we've seen Bob do it or, or different people, but whatever way it's work for you is what works for you so please do it that way yeah, i like i like to mix these two see that you get a little more goldy color you get gold from the yellow ochre but you also get a nice color just by mixing them i kind of like that it's a kind of a i'm not a big yellow person to be honest i like sunflowers but as far as the color yellow i'm not a big yellow person but i like it on the canvas sometimes Sometimes it's nice. I'm just going to go ahead and fill that in. And we'll come over here. Squeaky Chair is really in action tonight. He, is, uh, he said hello to everyone. Um, he's, he's been behind. Squeaky Chair's been behind on fulfilling any fan mail that he's gotten. So hopefully he'll get back to that. Yeah, just something like that. There we go. We're having a little water in here probably. It's a real simple scene. It's just the colors I'm liking. I want to see if I can get a little bigger canvas, just just for funsies, just for fun. Kind of wipe that off again. I'll maybe just kind of set these down a little bit if I wanted to. And now the next color is my is one of my favorite. Sorry for the bouncing of the easel here. I love the I love the room I have on this easel, but sometimes um, an actual easel like you know the Bob had or just a, a nice wooden easel maybe 
would like to be a little nicer um, for some things, but I love this thing. It just hangs here and I paint my open. If it's just me without a video on it, the noise doesn't bother me. I've got a color made up here and I'm going to try it. I mean, I don't like it. I mean, I know it's the color I want to use. I don't know if I like the, the mixture I've got yet. I'm going to try it a little bit. This is um, brown. I'm sorry, it's going to be a brown, a reddish brown. Yeah, that might work. Let's put a little more green in it. So it's a, it's a kind of a Christmas brown. You're going to take a crimson and a sap green and equal parts. More green, more, more crimson. It's kind of up to you to decide what you want. But it gives you a nice reddish brown, or if you put a little more green in it, it won't be as red. Uh, you, you probably could tell that without me having to tell you that. I'm going to kind of go right there. There we go. Just going to seal up the top of the sky with that little bit of color combination. And then I forgot, I, I like to have a little bit living up here like that. I took a clean brush and threw some yellow back in there. That's nice. Not bad. The, another problem that I've always noticed using liquid clear versus liquid white is that sometimes you, the paint doesn't move it like you would like it. Like it's, it's almost cuts through the canvas or something. I don't know. I'm well, not really educated enough to talk on that but that's kind of what it feels like I'm going to bring a little bit of that down let these colors mix a little bit you can probably see it a little bit it almost moves around a little too good a lot of people, this is liquid clear or liquid first what's it called I'm using on that uh, I forget but it's like liquid first coat or something and let's grab a fan brush. Throw some old clouds in here. Oh, the fan puts it on a little nicer. But you can see that how it kind of moves around a little differently. I'm going to just throw some, watch this, just smear it on there up there. Smearing that color, turning that brush, just getting crazy with it here. Not worry about perfect clouds because we're going to have a big mountain in here anyway. Set the sky on fire. There we go. Just put some of that color. You can put it on thick. There are no rules in painting. There are no rules in art. I teach in a class one time that somebody wanted me to measure the exact uh, placement of my mountain. I was like, there's no rulers in art. I mean, at least for me, there's not. If you want to use one, go right ahead. But for me, I just like throwing things up here, and if maybe it doesn't look good, maybe it does. Who, who's, to, who's to say? Maybe just a little bit of that color just in here somewhere like this. There we go. Moving around. And we got a big mountain that'll eat up most of that anyway. Big old, big old clouds, right? Take us a cleanish brush here. Just kind of knock some of these down the bottom. Now, I'm not even going to blend the tops. I'm going to leave them kind of chunky and, and smeary. I might blend it up, actually. I'm going to change my mind. I do that a lot. Down in here, you can always just tap out little things like that. Tap, 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 and just have your clouds be more diffused or let them be something a little more unique. Oh, I like that. I love those colors together. You know, I'm sorry, there's a glare up in that right hand corner. Right up here, you're probably seeing on the camera. Let's see if I back it up a little bit, if that'll help a little bit. Yeah, not really. But you can kind of see. You get that nice effect with that color. And if you want to, if you want to, if you're feeling froggy, take that brush and stretch these out. Look at this. 
just and just get in here and go crazy. It it does not matter what happens here. There's nothing you can do wrong. And if you listen to listen to me, I'd probably say there's nothing I could do right. So just let it be. Let it be. Take the Beatles advice there. I always kind of look at it and see if I want to change any any of the cloud shapes because you got more stacked clouds there. I don't mind that side. I do want to change something here. I don't know what I want to do. I think I just kind of change the shape of this one a little bit. That'll help make that one a little darker. Let it come in there a little more. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Just something. It didn't need that. And I'll be like, well, I liked it before. And I'll be like, well, poop. Oh, sorry, it means big poop. We kicked off the YouTubes. Is it the YouTubes or is it YouTube? What do you guys say? And yes, I'm being crazy. So we'll call that done. We'll call that Dragon Sky. We'll call this Dragon Lake. Kind of looks like Dragon Fire to me. And again, you could have that brown color be more to the uh, green side. It'd be a little more brown, but I like the reddish tint to it for what I'm doing here. And if you didn't know me already, or if you don't know me yet, you know I love mountains. I want to find me a place and park me a big, big old mountain up here somewhere. that Let's hold that I don't have to listen to that all night and a little peek there and I just used for the mountain base I used that same color that same old color That's that red brown Christmas brown we'll call it why is it called Christmas brown I guess because it has red and green in it which, believe it or not, Christmas isn't too far off. I have learned one thing about my time here on this planet. Is that time seems to move a lot faster the older I get. There we go. We don't need to pull this all the way down. I guess what that should tell us all is that we need to enjoy what we're, what time we have here. Make it count, right? Make it count. I think that'll work. I think that'll work. I'll grab my brush here and just wipe it off a little bit. I just to use the one inch brush to kind of pull this mountain out. Oh, I didn't scrape it. You should always scrape these things off. A little bit. I'm using a cheap old canvas. I, I I don't like these canvases for for my paintings, but I'm out of good ones. So they're fine. I mean, I use them occasionally. If I had to use a canvas, I would probably say Sunbelt is my favorite. Uh, the ones from Michaels is, are nice also. What is he doing with the paper towel? I think I did this the last time, didn't I? Just in case we get a little too much liquid clear on here. If you're careful, just use your paper towel kind of like your eye. Smear a little bit of that off. Something like that. That already looks better. Yeah, Sunbelt Manufacturing would be who I would buy canvases from if it wasn't for their shipping cost. So, Sunbelt, if you ever want to throw me some canvases here, I'll make sure everybody knows how good they are. Right. That's going to happen. I do buy them occasionally, kind of as a treat. They have a lot of teeth in them. And to be honest, um, a lot of canvases, uh, a good Frederick canvas would be good. You can get, I mean, the, tons of options. I paint mostly on these a lot, 
these cheapos, but also the ones from Michaels when you can get to 70% off. Uh, the gallery wrap canvases are excellent. I think I'll do a video on this. Quit giving all my content away in this one video. See, I can make two. Content. Sounds like people are actually watching to see what I think. All right. And yes, I talk to myself and answer myself. I think that worked for one. I want to bring it down just a little bit more. Try to cut the canvas off a little bit at the halfway point. I want a lot of that yellow right in there, though. See that? It's like a glow. And it just it works nicely. There we go. Let's step back and look here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, shoot. I didn't think I'd have any white. Yeah, maybe I did. An old tube laying here, titanium white. We'll use some titanium white. And then, I think I better do this. Let's see if this looks okay. Because I'll have to tell me. I'll put some yellow in it. Yellow snow. I guess it's yellow rocks actually. I'll let that float down through there. Something like that. Maybe a little more yellow. Maybe some yellow ochre in there. Oh yeah. It's gonna be look really bright. I set my knife down and my liquid clear. I had some out on my palate. Why is my hand wet? That's a blooper. We won't cut it out. You guys wouldn't even know if I hadn't said anything. Go here, maybe. Whatever we think. Wherever we think. There should be some snow and stuff hitting. Oh, it's looking a little darker. Yeah, let's try this. Let's try this mixture. See how that paint just kind of comes off? It really is amazing. Now you could take the time uh, and really spend some detail on here. Use brushes and, and put together a really nice mountain. But for me, I'm fine just to do the knife like this. I like the process of putting a painting together and then moving to something else. And you're like, well, you always paint mountains. It's true. It is a, it's a bad habit. I am. I like to paint these mountains and just keep painting them and go around and paint more mountains. I don't see anything wrong with that. Yeah, that's going to work, I think. I think. The squeaky chair is just working overtime. Oh, I know. Put this to, oh, I didn't want to put, put that much, so we do our shadow. Color, we'll get rid of that. Maybe, maybe that one kind of comes in front though. Maybe a little bit in there even. Okay. Yeah. Let's do the liquid clear again. The one thing that you should have near your easel when you're working is a trash can. I don't. I have a mess here. I got paper towels everywhere. Let's take a little bit of this and a little bit of white and quit getting into the liquid clear. Yeah. I'm almost going to make a potted meat color. Get a little bit of a shadow behind some of this. It's pretty dark. ordinarily don't put the liquid clear out on the palette but I did tonight and I am regretting it. In fact, this since the last video I don't have anything. 
controversial or crazy to talk about. I will say that not much has changed since that documentary came out. That's kind of, that's not surprising, is it? Things usually stay the same. Even if we want change, they usually stay the same. Maybe eventually. I will say that I'm disappointed in some folks' um, response to it. Uh, in response to people having an issue with it. Um, people I would say that I really respect. Um, I won't get into that, I guess. Here's the thing I would say. You don't unfriend your friends when going gets rough here. And as Forrest Gump would say, that's all I want to say about that. Sorry, I'm taking a little bit of time here with this. It's a little darker on that side. Look at that. I like that darkness. Get some more dark going over here. There we go. This side will get pretty much ate up by a tree or something, so who cares? Super easy painting again. I've got a couple things planned. It'll be new paintings. I, I have to... Unfortunately, I, I, I like to do some, some of these and then see if they look okay. <laughs> and I don't have enough confidence just to get on here and try crazy things. Because if I made a video, and then I'd be like, oh, i got to do another video. So, got a couple nice ones, I think, planned out. And I've been, I keep a little sketchbook. I'll never show my sketchbook. But I do have one. It looks like maybe a two-year-old sketched it out, but you know, it helps me to remember the kind of ideas that I want to do. Get a little bit of color up there. Maybe just a, maybe just a little bit of a shadow right in there. Kind of spin on over. Wherever. And... A little bit clearer knife ball. I will down the road, I promise you. Then I'll do a couple of live videos. That way you guys can tell me what you want to see. One thing I, I had a lot of buffering or, or or whatever it would be called nowadays. When I tried to do a live on YouTube before, so the video didn't look really well. It, my internet's not great here at home. I mean, it's, it's good, but it's not great. Yeah, let's just kind of leave that there. The mountain is not really that important on this one. Just kind of sitting there anyway. The just kind of leave it sitting there. Squeaky chair is just overtime. Overtime. Sometimes what I do with that dark color, if I put it a little bit in, I can just run it out. It looks like a little, it just looks like a little, little bit of a foothill. I can get up there and tap a little more of it out. Not a foothill, but maybe a range of trees, I should say. Something like that. We're always tapping these out just to create a little mist and stuff down here at the base. And going back and forth. Always. 
always following the angle of your mountain. You don't want to just tap a straight line across. You know that. I get on here and sometimes, one of these days I'm just going to paint. I'm not going to say a word. I think you guys know what to do. I've seen so many talented people. Way more talent than I've got. Lately. Uh, it's just, it's crazy. The amount of talent out there. And we can attribute that to... Really, it's not we're not painting because Leonardo da Vinci or, or Van Gogh or a lot of us. Sorry, I shouldn't say everybody. Lump everybody together. We're painting because Bob. And Bob was the driving force in getting us all here. I don't think people that are classical painters are going to tune in to, and watch me paint. So we owe a lot to Bob. Everybody owes a lot to Bob. Bob and, and Bill and and all the guys that you know I grew up watching. So give everybody a their due when it's time. I think that mountain's okay. I mean, we could. I think you guys know I can paint a mountain like this pretty much any time. Why am I sitting here doing it again? I enjoy it. I do. People are like, why do you always paint? I used to get that. Why do you always paint mountains? Well, it's because I, I like to paint them. And sometimes they look all the same. Uh, I agree. <laughs> but so what? You know, if you're having fun, it doesn't matter. We're using a little edge of the knife to add a little dark in here. Here and there, a little dark's nice. Just kind of scooting across that edge, maybe. You see, I can take the big knife and kind of flatten it out like that. There we go, that's enough. That's enough tinkering. Let's put us something here. I'm gonna save a lot of this yellow. I'm actually going to start over here. There we go. A nice little foothill. Nice little foothill. What I want you to notice is what I saved right in there. Gotta save that. It won't look as good. It gives you another plane in the painting. I always used to think of it so cute when Bob would say, not, not like an airplane, but a plane. Like another range, another level, another layer of your painting. And you gotta have them. You just gotta have them. So if you've never tuned in before, make sure you do go watch the Netflix documentary. Make sure you pick up a brush and paint. Make sure you create in some way. We all in this in today's world. We all become distracted by things so easily. When you're painting, it's hard to get to become distracted, really. Really hard. At least it is for me. I uh, will sit here and two hours will go by and be like, oh, that was fun. Everybody needs that. Painting might not be your thing. Pick up a, you know, a guitar and try to learn to play that if you don't know how or you know something along those lines but do something do something and try to do it well if you can't do it well have fun doing it because doing it well is not as important as having fun doing it that's my opinion and you know what I say feel free to make it your own I'm going to add a little bit more right here I'm going to cover up 97% of that side. It's really not going to matter. I'm going to bring a little bit more out here. You know why? Because I wanted to. And I'm not worried about that being white down here because I'm going to have trees. You don't have to put paint just because you have it. Not worried about that side because you're not gonna see it. There we go. Find a little stronger 
reflection in a few spots. Sometimes you just deposit paint. That actually works. Okay, let's just pull that down. I don't like that reflection anyway. You keep it knocking, but you can't come in there. There we go. That'll work for what I want. Let's find our other brush that I have apparently lost. Where are you? Okay. This is weird. There it is. Where'd that thing go? Let's take a little bit of our yellows. And mine are pretty loose. I shouldn't need any clear or anything really. I need a little white. Put this little highlight on here. I want it to stay pretty dark though. Pretty, pretty dark. I'm not going to cover that because there's just no point. Why would we worry with that? If we know it's going to get covered, just leave it alone, let it be. You want to see a lot of that reddish brown through there, you don't want to cover that up. wherever you think you'd have a little highlight hitting and to me that's where I would think it would be if you ever wanted to you can take a little white I say that a lot if you ever want to I do I want to right now <laughs> take a little white and just brighten up a few areas Your glass leg, the way it sounds to me. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Well, I'm sure you can. I put a video on here the last time. You could hear tons of little frogs and stuff in the background. I've got a little uh, waterfall pondy area behind me outside of my window where I paint, and you can, you can just hear the frogs going crazy. Let's throw a little water line in here. Honestly, one way, you know, one thing I've been doing with water lines lately is kind of just touching them on. It's a little different look. I kind of like it. You can do both. There's no rules, really. I used to be bad about telling people, you got to hold the thing, the, the, uh, the knife a certain way, or you know, stuff like that. And I'm like, if you can make it work, I don't care how you hold it. Making it work is what's important. There's really should be limited rules in this style of art. Sometimes your colors being nice is the most important part. All right. Let's see what I want to do here. I'm going to go grab another brush. Eh. Eh. Let's just use this one. I'm going to take a little more green and mix it into my brown paint that I'm using. There we 
go. Yeah, I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna close in the light. Yeah, very simple painting and crazy colors. It's so bright. It's so bright. Right. Whew, so bright. Get there's a little kind of push up on this brush and see what happens here. Sometimes you push up on the brush, you get these little things that look like grass. And then here, I'm going to add a little black to the color now. It's just straight black. We'll add that to that color. We'll get dark on us here. trees that we paint will be black. So that'll add another little layer. We may see it, we may not. These little paintings like this are super easy to do. You can see that brown hue there. You just watch this just swirl it in and then tap it out. I like that black. Two layers there, and if we wanted to, watch this. A little bit more of that color. Ew, I don't know if I like that color. Well, let's do it anyway. I don't know if I like this color. It's kind of potted meat color. I don't think I said potted meat earlier. Maybe I said like devil's ham or something. Can I see that even? I'm not gonna be able to see that. It's so dark up there. I'm gonna take a mixture of all these crazy colors I've got on this canvas. Palette, whatever. And just kind of seal off this side of the canvas with it. Like that looks awful. It's gonna be an evergreen tree. Just kind of a base for it. I'm loving that. Loving those colors. And actually, I want to do one more layered pure black. I know this need. I don't know if you heard that. Bless you, River. Bless you. Now that's short. The boys go to bed with Mama. And I stay up late and think. That. I'm making a really dark edge that I don't even know if I'll see down in here. Look at that. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, I, don't, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I don't like it. Sorry for the noise. A little some simplistic colors. You know, you don't have to have 22 colors to have a nice painting. I'm going to make some trees now. I'm almost done. This will be a quick video. Again, I promise you something a little more detailed and a little more out there soon. Soon. Let's go ahead. Tell you what, let's go ahead and just cover this. I don't like this one. I had an idea for that tree. I, I lied. It wasn't going to be an evergreen. It just didn't look right, though. Let's tap something else on here. We'll just stick with the evergreens for now. So a little bit of it shows up behind the tree, that's fine. That's 
Just gonna tap on a, a big old evergreen. Always helps to have something dark on your edges of the painting, at least to me it does. Kind of seals off the edges. I don't mind seeing that a little bit back there, because we'll have a couple trees right here. No mistakes, remember. And we just let this live somewhere down in here, wherever, wherever it wants to. It's a big old tree, isn't it? We like big trees. I want to go back and beef it up a little more on top and make sure it looks proportionate to the bottom. You don't want to like, I always say you don't want a tree that's going to look like it's beating physics. It's like 20 feet, uh, you know, it's like a uh, redwood at the top and a skinny pine at the bottom. It's not going to hold up. Get right what I'm trying to say here in a second. I'm going to go grab, let's see what kind of. I'll put some different evergreens in here actually. Wow, we had to hold it there and go get a uh, filbert brush because that's what I want. This painting's on fire, guys. And I don't know what these little specks of stuff are. <laughs> well, you know, you guys can see them. Actually, it doesn't look bad. So let's go to a filbert. I haven't used filbert in a while for a tree. I go through filbert phases. We got a fan brush tree. Let's have a filbertino right next to it here. That's the technical name. And they don't have to go all the way down. Yeah, there we go. Let's just see what we can do with this. I may have to put a touch of paint, excuse me, touch of paint thinner in here. Get this to stick. Because if anything, I want this to stay super dark. Add more paint. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Well, I'll do a few trees. Here's some cute squirrel. Oh, no, I'm kidding. Um, Tell me in the comments what you guys would like to see me paint. Send me a picture. My email address is in the, um, if you go to the about section, it should be in there. Send me a picture. Say, paint this. And try not to steal photos off the internet. <laughs> I'm always worried about, I'll steal a photo and then, you know, somebody will be like, that's, you didn't get permission to paint that. So. If it's a photo you've taken, you want to see me paint it, or you want a suggestion on how I'd paint it, and again, I don't always paint for realism. I paint for fun. Like this one. I don't... How many times have I seen these colors in nature? Not a lot. A little. Maybe. Depends on what I've taken that day, I guess. I'm kidding. Maybe send me any weird comments saying, Graham, are you okay? Oh, I want probably five trees. I also want to make sure and go back. I don't want any. I'm probably going to put any highlights on these. It's kind of about having fun with the colors. More than it is worrying about highlights on the trees. We may get under an, another video under an hour. Do you believe that? I'll say that and I'll throw a cabin in here. No, I will not. I don't like cabins. I like cabins, but not in this method. To me, they look like dog houses. Even people that can paint and paint well, I'm gonna take that all the way off. <laughs> the cabins just don't look right. In this method, you spend some time on a cabin, um, you can make them look great. And some people can make decent ones. I mean, Bob made decent ones, I guess. They still look like you should have a dog bowl outside of them sometimes. That's not a knock, Steve. Steve said he didn't like them either. I don't know that Steve... I don't, I've never seen Steve paint a cabin, so... Maybe one of the days he will. Maybe he'll get on here and start painting. That'd be great.
Lots of things, lots of opportunities in this world. I know I harp on this every time I use this. This just takes a little longer. But I do kind of like the shape you can get a little nicer here. A little different type of tree than that one. But some people could use a fan brush and do this too. So for me, I like this one. Might be loose and free. Loose and free. Loosey goosey. Getting light. I get a little loopy. Yeah, how much do we want down here? I don't know. Just kind of getting kind of full down here. We'll probably cover that with a the bush. There we go. There's three. We'll count our our Sand brush tree is one for sure. Keeping that paint nice and dark. Oh boy, here we go. Remember, don't push on that brush hard to start, and then you push a little bit harder, a little bit harder, a little bit harder, you get a thicker trunk. But your trunk has to be the thickest at the bottom. I mean, that's it's not really a painting rule, it's just kind of a nature rule. Yeah, you know, just tapping on little things. It'll look like a little tree when you look at it later and you'll be like, hey, I painted that. Or you'll be like, that's awful, let's throw that in the garbage. And then your your garbage person will pick it up and say, I'll take that home. I've known somebody to actually stab their paintings like class copies. Um so that somebody couldn't take them out of the garbage. I actually know a couple people have done that. And that just, that makes no sense to me. If somebody likes it, give it to them. You're that worried. Hand the painting over. It might bring joy to somebody. I have thrown a few away in my life, but I've never stabbed them. So I'm hoping maybe somebody got them out of the garbage. That'd make me, that'd make me happy. Half the time I throw some of them away because I got so many. Like if I teach the same painting and I don't need 10 copies of that one. And I've got the one I did and then I've got the one from class. So don't throw them away. Keep them. Keep them usually. I never know what might happen one day. I'm going to put just a touch of paint thinner in there. Getting a little too, ooh, I said a touch. I just like to throw it paint now. Let's see, it will, it will stick though, that's for sure. There we go. Loading up this brush over here. We almost done. We almost cranked this one out. Anymore, I have to look to make sure the video is still going. I don't know if you saw the last one, but the phone literally the battery died. And I'm like, well, that's not an opportune time for that to happen. Seems like things don't always wait for us a good time, does it? Or do they? Well, I hope everybody's staying well out there. And again, it's starting to get into fall. You, you're going to see more of me. I, I, I pity you. Don't just maybe take a break. Turn Bram off for a bit. Going to paint with Dana and Steve here. Mm, the end of October, I think. It's going to be a big crowd. Big crowd and... COVID running wild again, so who knows what might happen. But we don't. Gotta start living. Gotta start living. Start living a little bit at least, right? But do be safe. 
I know it's getting tired of all the, the stuff, but I've also known some people that have had it pretty rough recently. We don't want that. We need more happiness and not more sorrow. Beat this up as I want. That's a big tree, guys. All right, one more, one more. I'm having too long painting these guys. Where do we want the thing? I like that being open. I like seeing that light, but let's put a let's put a smaller one right here. And it stops right there. You know, like it doesn't look right. Just give me a second. It will. I promise. I promise to make it right. Or to keep it wrong, I don't know. Try to keep these dark. And get into that thick paint that I put for the water line. And if you were painting this, you could probably just use a dark brown and that would look nice, but the black actually looks really good with these colors too. Down in here, let's just let these trees kind of grow somewhat together like that. And then let's take our, our brush here. Right, let's knock in a little more dark in here. So this is similar to a painting I've already done. I didn't have a big mountain in it. I didn't have a lot of this stuff in it. But I wanted to do it again. Because I love the colors. You know, and sometimes, the, again, sometimes if you're trying to paint for selling a painting, colors will usually matter more than anything. If you get somebody liking the colors you're using, then you're probably going to sell a painting. And I'm not worried about selling paintings. But, you know, if we sell a painting here or there, that's nice. We got. Um, a little stick tree there that I put too much thinner so having a little reaction with it looks a little odd but I'll fix it later I forgot I'd thin that paint down but I also like to do this with these guys put some little, little things off of them because you see them a lot on these filberty trees I don't know, maybe try to get a close up of this. It's kind of cool. I, I forgot that I had paint thinner in my black already. I put more. And then because this is liquid clear, it's having a reaction. I want you to see what it looks like. I'm gonna throw a few little things on here and then I'm gonna pause it and move the camera right in front. And then I'll probably cover that. <laughs> it's disappearing. It's fun when it happened. We'll make it a teaching moment, maybe. If I don't know something like when I'm teaching business law, sometimes I'll have the kids go look it up. Kids, they're college students. Um, go look it up, like a code book online, and then we'll talk about it. Because I don't remember every little thing that about the law that I should sometimes. Sometimes I have to get a code book out too. And that's what's going to happen here is a teaching moment here. All right, let's do that. That's enough little sticks off my trees. Pause. This may be a little wobbly, but you can see that. You see how that tree looks? It looks really, really weird. That's what happens when you use too much paint thinner and the liquid clear. It's having that chemical reaction. And if you intended that, that looks great. Like for me, I did not intend that. So I'm already just going to cover it with an evergreen. And again, it was because I put my paint brush, my script liner, into the paint thinner and got a good bit. Went back to paint that had thinner in it already that I'd been using for the evergreens. So I didn't control. This won't normally happen. I, I rarely, rarely does this happen to me. 
but I wanted you to see it. There's a happy little accident. That may actually be a mistake. All right, so we're 55 minutes. We got to finish in under an hour. What I would do is if that happened, really easily. I hate that I'm going to go into my lake a little bit, but this will this will fix it. You can leave it. It's not like I'm going to do anything to this painting. Unless somebody wanted it, that's watching, be like, I love that painting. I'm going to pay money for it. You can pay money for it, and I'll be happy. Let's just put a tiny. Keeping this kind of small so we still see a good bit of that water. Trying to cover up our, our little boo-boo here. And this will throw things off for me, so I have to put one more. Let's see. Boom. And who knows, maybe that one goes all the way off. So let's pull it off. You don't really see that. But it does work. And then one, two, three, four, five, six doesn't work for me. Right here. Put one more right here. It stops right there. See through it a little bit, and that kind of actually that looks pretty good. Kind of frames it out right there for us. Got another little tree. If we want, we can make sure we don't have too much paint thinner on here. And you can take your knife, or you could do this. I kind of prefer this actually for this one. Not always. I have a dog hair on my brush, or either a brush hair that's got something on it. There we go. Some little things off of those, maybe. Just a couple of dots there. Indicate maybe that tree kind of having a rough year. I guess we've all had kind of a rough year, a couple of years. But we're still here. We're still kicking. And that is always a positive thing. We will sign this baby. And hopefully I'm still under my time limit here. Let's see. We use this on potted meat color. It look a little odd, but... I believe my signature gets worse each time. So I will see you guys in a little little ways down the road probably. First to next week or so. Maybe I'll get on here and do a live. Like I said, cooler weather gets me inside more. But there it is. Let's get let's get you a close up of it. Fire on the mountain, run boys run. Oh, I know. Let's just see if I can zoom out. Probably gonna make everybody sick here. Yeah, probably gonna make myself sick. There it is. All right, guys, everybody stay well, be well, be kind to each other, and I will see you guys further down the road, okay? Take care, my friends.